So cancer, you know, the patience and understanding that you have for this person is going to work out in your favor, ultimately. Uh, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, November. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on a camera. As I always say, guys, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and just speak to you. OK, and of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because like I always say, we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Cancer, let's put that there. So Cancer, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so there's been a change. I'm going to start there. There's definitely been a change. I feel like it, it possibly um, you guys have gone through maybe a bit of a rough patch. But now, as it stands, there's been some form of change in a positive way as well. And that's kind of, I feel like, this is where this level of belief that, you're, that you have. It's like you're showing up as the magician, which talks about, you know, just having all the resources, all the tools in order for, for you to make something happen. And that's how you're showing up. So that's kind of signifying your belief, your level of belief, how you're seeing things. It's all kind of lining up in terms of you believe in that you know, things can work out, things can work out. And this person is embracing or showing up as just ready to start this new journey, this chapter, this barking on a, not sure how things are going to work out, but ultimately willing to take that step in that direction. You're picking up on the fact that this person is a bit cold, a bit cold, um, a bit distant even, even though kind of they're, maybe actions are slightly counteracting what you're picking up in terms of just certain feelings that you're getting off of them or from them because you're seeing them as a, the, the queen of swords it's like this maybe cold or maybe a dis distance or just um, maybe a bit you know their boundaries they kind of only let you in so far but you have a, a level of understanding or compassion around that for them there's there's a reason that there's something there's there's a reason why you're choosing because I feel like this is more about a choice you choosing to be compassionate have understanding be patient with this person as much as you've been hurt when it comes to this there's a level of you just being hurt and I, and and I feel like that's due to the challenges that you have you've had to go through when it comes to this person um, but regardless of that you're still willing to take take the risk on on this and i say when it comes to this person simply because yeah you know they see you as someone who provides emotional happiness they're kind of happy with you wanting to rush things ahead wanting to move quick on this and with that acknowledging cancer acknowledging that you provide some form of um, positive aspect to their world There's, you provide a positive element in in their in their life in some way there's an impact you have a positive impact there we go you have a positive impact in their life on them 
in some way, shape or form. But what's quite interesting, though, Cancer, is that this person doesn't want to acknowledge it. It's like they acknowledge it, of course, because, I mean, it's, it, you know, I feel like they can't help but acknowledge it. But they don't want to accept it. There's, they're not wanting to, hmm, how, how do I explain it? It's like when someone knows you've done something good, uh, but they don't want to acknowledge the fact that you've done that. It's like they kind of bypass that. It's like they're kind of just pushing those emotions or those thoughts or feelings down what that what that could mean on them down it's like and I'm not sure why so let's get some clarity on that I'm not sure why they're not wanting to acknowledge that which is quite interesting put that that's just the night I'm going to leave that that fell out but I'm going to leave that there let's get some clarity also, feel free to check out my Amazon store, guys. I've got some, you know, I've got these cards on there, some chakra stones and, yes, yeah, other, other products which I love and enjoy, um, which you might like. So it's pinned in the corner right there. That's the nine. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Yeah, not wanting to acknowledge what provides their happiness or what provides or what would add to that emotional happiness that they feel i want to add one more to that not ready to let go not ready to let go yeah do you see that as i say that the emperor comes out this control uh dominant type of energy here not wanting to let that go just yet not wanting to I feel like this person feels a bit too vulnerable or, or what could that mean what does it mean if this person has this much impact on my life if they provide this much you know so it's it's that it's that's what's going on and I feel like maybe this is how they've been acting in the past which has contributed to this for you that could be it for some of you but um like I said you've got a level of understanding around that or compassion or patience with them good thing is is that they're you know wanting to move ahead again towards the ninth cup it's all about emotional happiness it's, but it's it feels like is this person willing to take the risk in order for them to embrace it fully because this is the eight of cups after the eight of cups is, is eight of cups talks about walking away from something towards that ninth cup which is emotional happiness so they're wanting to make a decision about that. It's like I need it, I need to make a decision about whether I'm going to do that or not. Where for you is, I want clarity on this. I want more clarity on this, so I can be solidified in my beliefs about what it is that I feel can happen here. So usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, where we get a fuller picture and see where this moves to, Cancer. But I will be implementing that in January, guys. So just bear with me. But hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.